I'm going to show you how to model this two by four one plate high Lego brick. This will show you how to use user parameters and equations to derive dimensions that you can use in your 3D model of a Lego brick. First, let's go to modify, change parameters. Here you can see the parameters we'll be using in the model. We have base, this is a number from the Lego enthusiast community online that is considered a Lego unit. Then we can derive other dimensions from this. For example, stud is base times six. Stud height is 1.8. Tolerance is 0.1. We need this to have different bricks fit together. The stud spacing or the stud pitch is base times 10. The inner hole underneath the stud is base times three plus tolerance times two. And then the under stud, this is the piece that allows all the Legos to snap together, is square root of two times stud space minus stud. And then the height is base times four. Here are the values. You could just type in these values as hard-coded numbers, but it's nice to see that you can derive all these values from this initial base unit. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do is create a new component. I'll call this component one by two by four. Then I'll draw a sketch on the ground plane. I'll use a center rectangle. I'll click on the origin. And then this first dimension here will be stud space times two minus tolerance times two. And then I'll press tab. And then this one is stud space times four minus tolerance times two. So by using those dimensions of the stud spacing, we automatically derive this dimension for our Lego brick. Then we need to offset the wall thickness. We'll click this outer dimension and we make sure we go in negative 1.2. Now we're ready to extrude. We'll click this and then we'll type height. Then if we rotate around, you can see that we've extruded up one plate height. Now we'll go ahead and make another sketch right on the top here. We'll click create sketch and we'll click on this plane and then we'll press P to project and we'll grab this shape and we'll say, okay. Then we're going to extrude and we're gonna extrude this inner shape and we're just gonna go down negative one. The top of this is not 1.2. That's why we didn't shell out a cube, is because it's not the same all the way around. We just go down one there, and we join the shape. Now we'll create another sketch on top of this shape. We could have done all these sketches at the same time, but it's easier to create sketches in different places so they stay less confusing. So now we'll get a center circle, press C, and then I'll click and drag, and the size of this will be stud. But how do we know where the circle is? Well, we know the circle spacing and we know the tolerance. So we can press D, click this line and this line, and it will be stud space divided by two minus tolerance. And then the same from the top, and we can click this same dimension. So now we're ready to make a rectangular pattern. I'll create rectangular pattern. I wanna click this object, then I need my direction. So I'll click this line and this line. So now I know which way I'm going. I'll pull this out, and instead of extent, I wanna select spacing. And the spacing on both of these will be stud space. This one will be four studs. And then this one going down, instead of three studs, it will be two studs, and the spacing will still be stud space. Now I have those, and I'll press OK. We can press E to extrude, and we'll click all of these shapes. They go up, stud, height. And then we join and we say, okay. Now we'll create a sketch on the bottom of this. So we'll create a sketch, we'll select this plane. Now on the bottom, we need to draw the inner stud recesses as well as the under studs that help the Lego snap together. So I'll press C and I'll draw a circle and this will be inner hole which is 2.6. We know the spacing of this is the same as the top, so we can click D and we can go stud space divided by two minus tolerance. And then they will be the same from the top here. I'll click and I can use that same dimension. We'll make the same rectangular pattern, so I'll go create rectangular pattern. I'll click this object, then I'll click my directions. It will be this direction 
and this direction. We'll click spacing. This one here, the spacing will be stud space. And the number will be four. And the one going down will also be stud space, but the number will be two. Then we'll say OK. So now we can press E and select all of these features here. And then our distance will be negative stud height minus tolerance. And we want to make sure the operation is cut. And then you can see that we went up inside the studs there, just like the injection molded plastic of a Lego brick. We need to hide that sketch. Now the last thing we need are the circles on the bottom. So we'll create one more sketch on this bottom plane. I'll draw a circle. And this will be under stud. But where is the position? How do we know where this is? Well, we know the stud spacing. And we can also make it horizontal in the middle. I can make it horizontal to the origin point, And then the dimension from the side will be stud space. And instead of dividing by two, we want the full stud space minus tolerance. Then the inner circle here will just be stud. So we'll dimension this stud. And then we'll make a rectangular pattern. So we'll go create rectangular pattern. What objects? These two objects. The direction will be this direction. We'll go this way. Make sure it's spacing. Our spacing will be negative stud space. And we can leave it at the default value of three. And then we'll press E to extrude. I'll grab this piece, this piece, and this piece. Then the extent type, instead of distance, we can go to object and we can select the bottom of the Lego piece and join. So now we have all the pieces of the Lego brick. Now we just need to add some fillets. We can change our selection filter to not select all, but to select body edges. And then we can marquee select the whole shape. And then we can deselect these top ones because we want to add a bigger fillet to the top. And then we can click fillet and we'll type 0.2 and say OK. So then that fillets out all of those pieces. And then we can add a larger fillet by clicking fillet again to these top pieces. We can say 0.5 for the top piece. This will just help them snap into a 3D printed piece. And we say OK. Now you have a 3D modeled Lego brick that you made from derived parameters. Happy 3D modeling.